हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अपग्रेडिंग वे आई एम डॉली एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग फॉर माय इंटरव्यू इन टुडेज वीडियो यू विल सी टॉप टेन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड कमेंट व्हाट वुड यू वॉन्ट टू सी इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो गुड मॉर्निंग सर आई एम डॉली एंड आई एम हेयर फॉर माई इंटरव्यू Yes Dolly please have a seat Thank you sir Shall we start the interview Yeah sure sir How would you provide a dynamic range in data source of pivot tables To provide a dynamic range in data source of pivot table first create a name range using offset function and base the pivot table using a name range created in the first step Is it possible to make pivot table using multiple sources of data If the multiple sources are different worksheets from the same workbook then it is possible to make pivot table using multiple sources of data Which event do you use to check whether the pivot table is modified or not To check whether the pivot table is modified or not we use pivot table update in worksheet containing the pivot table How can you disable automatic sorting in pivot tables To disable automatic sorting in pivot table go to more sort option then right click pivot tables then select sort menu then select more options then deselect sort automatically What is free spans in MS Excel To lock any row or column free spans is used the locked row or column will be visible on the screen even after scroll the sheet vertically or horizontally What is a function in Excel? To perform the logic test, a function is performed. It checks whether certain condition is true or false. If the condition is true, then it will give result accordingly. If the condition is false, then the result or output will be different. How can you apply the same formatting to every sheet in a workbook in MS Excel? For this, you should right click worksheet tab. then choose select all sheets now any formatting done will be applied to the whole workbook to apply to a particular group of sheets select only those sheets that need formatting to move to the previous worksheet and next sheet what keys will you press to move to the previous worksheet you will use the key control plus page up and to move the next sheet you will use keys control plus page down What filter will you use if you want more than two conditions or if you want to analyze the list using database function You will use advanced criteria filter to analyze the list or if more than two conditions should be tested What is the quick way to return to a particular area of a worksheet The quick way to return to a specific area of worksheet is by using name box You can type the cell address or range name in name box to return to a specific area of worksheet very good miss dolly i hope you like the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and comment your feedback